you are not going to burn in hell. Hey guys, it's John here. Loving my coffee as usual. You are not going to burn in hell. You're not going to burn in hell. I hope that get, <laughs> alleviates all your struggles. Have a great day. Talk to you later. No kidding. <laughs> um, there is no hell. In the earliest text, the word that was translated into hell was the word Gehenna, which I find funny because there's a couple small towns that I've been through named Gehenna. <laughs> and I don't think they necessarily realize they named their towns hell. <laughs> I just find it funny. But Gehenna, back in, in historical times, on the outskirts of Jerusalem, was the place where they burned the trash. So all the things that went bad was taken out and burned in Gehenna. Right? You're going to burn in Gehenna. You're going to burn in hell. You know, you're being bad. You're going to burn in hell. You know, that, that is the origin of the word hell. The origin of the word Satan, the master of hell, right? Satan comes from Satanus, and Satanus means deceiver or temptation. So it's not a polar opposite of God. It's not a, a polarity. It's your temptations. It's, your de it's the, the thoughts in your mind that are deceiving you. And when you, when you look at this as going to burn a Gehenna, and these words were taken very differently 2,000 years ago. Then in the Middle Ages, the 1300s, Dante wrote his Inferno. And suddenly, there was nine levels of hell. And there was a devil with horns. And then there was um, fire and brimstone. And there was this, this definition of hell that came about 1,300 years after the birth of Jeshua ben Joseph. And even that's debatable because the, the year that we live in 2023, <laughs> the, the date of his birth was set by a medieval monk. And if you look at the Bible itself, it says he was born in the reign of, I forget which emperor it was, but that emperor, di emperor died six years before he was supposedly born. So the Bible is filled with, with, with all kinds of flaws and inaccuracies. It's also filled with massive amounts of contradictions. And the earliest texts were written by Judaic sects who were trying to prove the, that there was a Messiah. Well, Jeshua didn't believe in Messiahs because I have a very specific memory of him avoiding the Essenes because they wanted him to take the role of Messiah, and he wouldn't do it. They wanted him to become the king of Israel and were trying to push prop him up to become that because they wanted him to raise an army and fight Rome and become the king of Israel. And he refused to do it. He believed in our own divinity. He believed in our own power to create our experiences. He believed that we, we and, and God are one. He also believed in eternal life, which I plan on talking about in a different video. But when it comes down to the idea of hell... It's, it is one of those absolute fallacies of the Bible that is meant to make you afraid and is used to get you to join their religion and stay in their religion. You know, if God is love, there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, the Buddha says the secret to enlightenment is the eradication of, of fear. Well, if God is love, there's another quote in the book of John that says, Fear cannot exist in pure love. And if God is love, then there's nothing to fear. Right? In the, in the Psalms it says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Because thou art with me. I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Who is thou? Love. God. Right? Right? Well, if you're fearing no evil, then there can't be a hell. There can't be a devil. There can't be a Satan. 
There can't be demons, right? Now, I know many people who will tell me they've seen demons. And I can usually tell them what their belief was after I've talked to them for a little while. I can show them exactly how they got that belief and how that belief is being shown to them because your beliefs are shown to you. The question is, is, is can you simplify your beliefs down to just love? And if you can just simplify your beliefs, beliefs down to just love, you've eradicated your fear. And there, the possibility of a hell goes away. So it's, it, in my first regression, it, it literally says, it's so simple we have a hard time comprehending it. And that, that is the truth of this. You are the creator of your experience. And you can create fearfully or you can create with love. But fear itself is just an illusion of the lack of love. Because fear is an emotional reaction to a future event that may or may not happen with you focused on a negative outcome. If you're focused on a positive outcome, you wouldn't be afraid. And so, release your fears. Realize that right here, right now, I am, I am loved. I am love, and I'm delivering love. And whatever I do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.